Good morning. I didn't do anything yesterday because we took the boys um, to the zoo, but right now I am walking the dogs and I should say rather than they are walking me, it's good exercise. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, on my agenda today, I have to clean the living room and I'm going to work on the office. I have reorganized the office sometimes last year and I'll put the link below because there was a drastic um, makeover. Well, not drastic, but there was a good makeover. And some of the things that I put together last year turned out to not work out so much for us. For instance, I had placed a desk for the boys to do their homework because at the time I didn't have a laptop. So I wanted to make sure I kept an eye on them while they were doing their homework and I was on the computer. But now since I have a laptop, we don't need to do that anymore. I can do the homework downstairs. So I'm going to get rid of that desk, but I'll show you that later on. Um, finish walking the dogs. Come on. And uh, get going. Yeah. Super busy today. Okay, so it's uh, 9 o'clock. Kitchen is clean again. And I'm going to have some breakfast. Having some peach with a drizzle of my honey. And again, I use the Tesso Apiaries from Milford, New Jersey. And obviously, I need to order some more. I'll get a cheap yogurt. I'm drinking some green tea with roasted rice in it. Um, I bought it, I think, at Mitsuo's Marketplace. It's a uh, Japanese supermarket that so looks like this. And it tastes like green tea but very nutty in flavor. I don't know if you can. Uh, it's fogging up. Anyway, it comes out as a uh, um, relatively clear liquid. And then I have to go over my little list. So yesterday, dining room. I know I did clip and sort the coupons. I did that and I dusted, swept and mopped. So I still have to do the two week budget. And today I'm doing the living room. Uh, declutter, junk some books, get stuff upstairs, dust sweep, empty boxes on the stairs, stairs sweep, dust mop, and I'm going to try to do the office and the budget. That's my goal today. But while I'm having breakfast, I'm going to the dining room and post some pictures from the zoo yesterday on Facebook so the grandparents can see them. And you can see the dining room pretty much stayed clean. I'm trying to do everything I can to maintain before we go on vacation so that I don't have any cleaning to do before we leave, just packing. All right, so I posted the pictures on Facebook. I'm having my second cup of tea. I'm about to do the living room. So the living room, I have these things here, albums that need to go up in the office and I have to build some shelves for that. I have a few things here, I have to straighten this up. We got those maps at a garage sale and a ton of maps. I thought I was going to do a project with them. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep every single one of them. I don't think I paid more than $3 for all of those maps. Some of them are really, really old. Um, and there was this in there. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I like old 1950s things. So I have to sort this out. I think I'm finally going to get rid of these magazines here. These are my British magazines. Um, when I did my blog about sorting out magazines and putting them, the articles that you want to keep, putting them inside binders. I talked about those. I didn't want to part with them at the time because they are expensive and they're British. And now they're just catching dust. So I think I'm just going to bundle them up and bring them to the nearest uh, nursing home for folks to enjoy. Uh, let's see. We have... William here, who had part of a breakfast and left it here for my um, cleaning, I guess. We got to do some work here. I have a stain on this that I'm going to try to remove. I have a little bit of decluttering to do here on top. I have these baskets here. They're my organization basket. Whenever we see something downstairs that needs to go back upstairs, everybody in the house has their own basket. I have to empty those. So the pile of Clothes and towels here on the post that I need to bring upstairs. I have some jewelry here that I'm too lazy to take off upstairs, so I put it in here. Dusting, that needs to be done. Oh my god, this is terrible. And books, I think I'm going to try to remove some of the books we have in here. I have a friend of mine who 
constantly goes to library sales and he knows that I like cooking and antiques and he constantly, constantly brings me books and I love him for that. Except that now it's starting to be a little bit too much. So there's some books here that I know I'm never going to look at or read. So I'm going to purge some of that. And sweep, mop, dust, and that will be it. Then I'll move on to the office. Um, it's not that awfully cluttered. I think that most living room end up looking like this after a while. However, this is the main room in the house, so I want to try to keep it as tidy as possible. The problem here is that every time there's a flat surface somewhere, something lands on it. So we have many, many drop zones in this home and I need to try to eliminate this. So let me get going. I'm going to start cleaning and then show you what it looks like afterwards. I have a wet rag and some Dawn and white vinegar. I'm going to spray this. That's one of those Ottoman. I'm going to see if I can remove the surface here because I don't have any uh, carpet shampoo thing and I don't want to go out so we're going to see if it works. I'm going to just spray it, rub it, rinse it, rub it again, spray it again, rub and rinse and let's see whether or not the Dawn and vinegar can also work on upholstery. These are just water stains um, but because the Ottoman is old when the water drains I guess or dries up it makes those rings so I don't know I hope it works. We're judging by the color of the water, I guess it works. Okay, so this is the first one. I'm gonna go and I did the sides too. I'm gonna rinse this and do a second round and see what it looks like. I think it worked. So it looks like Dawn and Vinegar I actually do clean surfaces, hello, Le Chief, on upholstery. So pretty happy about that because there's a lot of things. They need to be washed that way. Um, it's no substitute to deep upholstery cleaning, but if you have a stain, a water stain, a coffee stain, uh, something that needs to be cleaned off upholstery, all you need is a uh, washcloth and some spray with Dawn and vinegar, white vinegar, and apparently it does the job. It stinks, but it does the job. Okay, so the living room is clean. I have two bundles of magazines I'm going to bring to the nursing home and since I'm doing my 30 bags in 30 days this is number 23 and I managed to get one bag of books to donate to the library so that's my bag number 24 and here's the living room I dusted everything I decluttered cleaned up dusted all the surfaces um, over here where the magazines used to be I moved my French magazines that were on the top to the bottom and then I just cleared up the shelf this is a box where the remotes are I decluttered a tiny amount of books I know you can't tell the difference at all I can't get rid of books it's very hard for me so this has been cleaned as well um, and all dusted and this has been dusted and clean and this is all the stuff I got to sort and empty and bring upstairs so that's my next task and the ottoman has been clean I don't know if you can tell there's still a little bit of a stain here but I think this was always here I've never been able to get rid of it so yeah apparently the dawn and white vinegar does remove stains on furniture upholstery it's not again it's not deep cleaning it's surface cleaning but it works and I'm happy about that so I removed everything that was underneath it except for a basket I even got rid of a cobweb that was in the corner so yeah all right that's done um, I'm gonna take a quick break and remove all the stuff that's on the staircase whatever needs to be in the office I'm gonna have to leave it outside of the office because my next task this afternoon is to declutter the office so I can put those things in um, yeah I remove stuff so I can replace it with more stuff it makes no sense but that's my life um, and then I'll probably sweep the stairs and then mop the whole first floor again have some lunch and uh, work on the office so see you later I'm done with the stairs it's all been dusted I even washed the walls where there was some uh, kitty fingerprints I emptied out all the baskets 
this whole area over there has been dusted. I cleaned all the rails. I cleaned the post. Uh, I went in between. I did everything so it's clean. It's a lot of work. I work full time so does my husband. So the cleaning of the house as much as I tried to keep it up during the week even though I didn't do anything for the last two weeks obviously. Um, it's just difficult. I mean if you have kids you work full time both of you or whether you're a single mom you know what I'm talking about. It's an unbelievable amount of maintenance and quite frankly we have way too much junk. I know we do. Um, I think that generally people have too much junk. Hence one of the reasons why I'm doing this 30 bags in 30 days. Um, the more stuff you have in your house it means the more stuff you gotta store, the more stuff you gotta clean or go around to clean and I'm just starting to get really fed up with it. It's just too much. Um, I mentioned in my other video that I just don't want to be a slave to my house. I don't. I want to be able to come home, do some quick cleaning, do the surfaces, the floors, whatever, but I don't want to spend my life organizing, filing, putting stuff in boxes and moving it from one area to the other and then it ends up being in the basement and then we forget about it and then 10 years later it's still there and then you got to do this whole week long basement purge. Um, I don't want to do that. I just want to be able to enjoy my life and I don't want to spend it cleaning. So yeah, let me make myself a healthy lunch and I'll probably post a blog while I'm having my lunch and uh, get going with the office. So yeah. Busy, busy, busy. So for lunch today, I'm having my negative calorie soup and I posted the recipe in the blog. The recipe is in the Dunbar and it's also in another one of my video, part of the same series. I'm having a salad with some fat-free dressing and I'm eating honey wheat sticks and it says that, and it says that uh, one serving, uh, which is about eight pretzels is 110 calories so I put in 10 pretzels and I guess that would be 120 calories so yeah and I'm gonna drink water gonna work on a blog and uh, get to the office I got some mail today I got some mail from Colonial Candle Crafters I ordered a candle from them that's a one of those rare scents it's called Bayberry can't wait to open it and find out how it smells Oh, this is so nice. I had to remove my address here. They wrote me a little handwritten note. Let me see what it says. That's very, very nice. Thank you for your order, Sophie. Enjoy. Warm regards, Pat at Colonial Hand Crafters. Candle Crafters. And then there's one of those flyers. The handmade and hand poured candles. They've been around, I think, since um, 1972. Here's the owner, Pat Hess, and that's their little store. And they're located in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. So let's see. About a small one. They're not cheap, but they are less money than. Yankee candles. So the candle itself was eleven ninety five, and with the shipping, which was expensive, ten dollars. Huh? Almost paid as much in shipping. That was twenty one ninety. So let me see what this candle looks like and what it smells like. Here it is. Colonial Candle Crafters Bayberry Aroma Light. That's what it looks like. Ooh, it is waxy. Nice. Mmm. Smells wonderful. I love it. Very, very nice. I'm happy. Let me light it later on and see what it smells like when it's lit. But I'm very happy with the purchase. They are a little bit expensive. I hope this lasts long. Okay, so I had lunch and I put two blogs together, two posts for later on. They related to the video I made two days ago and that's going to be posted probably prior to this video. So I'm going to start working on the office and let me show you what it looks like. So our office is a very small space and I already did one video about how I reorganized it um, and this is my scrapbook 
supplies. Um, if you want to know how I put those shelves together, I'll put the link below. And here's a catalog for the stamps that I have. But anyway, so here's my desk, and we have some shelves here with a lot of stuff on the shelves. It's everywhere you go or everywhere you look, there's going to be something. Here I have a bunch of uh, uh, cards and uh, memo pads. I have a desk here that's a glass desk I bought at Big Lots. Um, very cheap. I can't remember, but I think that the desk and this piece right here underneath it was less than $100 together. And I keep some of my scrapbook supplies here and I've been scrapbooking again so I'm pretty happy about that. I have my little carousel for supplies and some stamps and things. And on this side is my husband's side. Uh, we have a little fish tank here. Um, so he has his two computers, some shelvings, and again, more stuff on every single shelf is jam-packed. It's starting to be suffocating um, in here, and this is not the right time, so obviously I gotta change the battery. We have some supplies here in shoe boxes, and I had originally thought that the kids were gonna do homework in here, because when I work on the computer in the evening, and I need them to do homework, I want to be able to supervise them, but now that I have a laptop downstairs, they're not going to need this table, which really takes a huge amount of space in this office. So my goal today is to remove this table, remove those two boards here that we've basically never used. They are those um, black dry erase, and you use special pens for it. I don't even know where the pens are, but those pens do not work. They dry up within maybe a week of being used and then if you leave the stuff too long on the board you actually have to go at it with some uh, scrubbing sponge and it's just not practical at all so I'm just letting you know if you see some of those blackboards dry erase blackboards on the market and you're thinking that you want to buy them I'm giving you my honest opinion don't buy them they are not worth the money they do not work the way you want them to work they may look cool for about a day but then it's just complete waste. I have a basket here with some um, nail supplies that I have to move upstairs and then all of those things here are their homework. Uh, and then there's a basket underneath with some stuff. So what I want to do today, I'm not going to be able to do everything I want to do, but I know I'm going to remove this desk and those two boards and I want to put shelves here, here, one more set and another one. So it's going to be three sets or four sets of two shelves and I have the shelves already I have everything I need I just need to get going so I'm gonna put all my albums there some books try to declutter those areas here and there and use this wall of shelves here for that purpose and we will should be gaining at least all of this space here which is about a foot and a half so my husband can move his gigantic chair he won't get rid of. See, I got rid of mine. I had the same chair, but I got this one instead because it's just smaller. Um, it doesn't take as much room. Another thing I want to do, but that's probably going to happen tomorrow, I have my printer here on the floor. It needs to go on the desk. It's crazy to have it down there. And I have my uh, CPU tower, my computer tower underneath the desk, and that too needs to be brought back up here because I'm constantly bending over. It's just not practical. So... Yeah, I have my work cut out for me. Um, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's probably going to take me about an hour to take down all this junk behind me and move it somewhere else and get started on building some shelves and then start bringing things back in. Maybe purge some of the books. I don't know. I think I've done that already. So I'm pretty sure that whatever we have here at the books that we are the books that we actually want to keep in the office. Um, and other things I want to do, and that's probably going to be tomorrow, is put some um, panels here, some sheer panels on the windows because we just have the honeycomb thing. And the honeycomb for my husband's window, we had to remove at some point. I can't remember why, but anyway, we had to remove it and we never put it back up. So I want to make sure that we have um, this back on and I like sheer panels because they do filter the light and it makes the room a little bit brighter and um, I don't know, it just looks cleaner when you have curtains on the windows. So yeah, let me get going. This is my day two of cleaning. So far I'm pretty happy. I've been doing a good job at getting rid of stuff. That's really the goal here. Um, get rid of stuff, 
make things more pleasing to look at when you enter a room because there's less clutter. Organize in a way that is efficient so that we don't have to constantly move things from one place to the other when we need them. Everything in its place. Well, here we go. It's about an hour later and I made a wall of shelves. Um, I just added one, two, three, four shelves here. I didn't realize that if I was going to put extra shelves on this side, or at least at this level, that I wasn't going to be able to do two shelves because of the desk, and I can't move the desk the way it is. So I just placed one shorter shelf right here. I may not put another one over here, but I might get one of those pieces of furniture that has the, uh, the drawers in it. So for more storage. But anyway, this is what it looks like, and it makes the room look much bigger and at least a little bit cleaner it's still a lot of stuff i wasn't able to get rid of a lot this is about the amount that I was about to get rid of which is not much but it's still better than nothing let's see it's 4 30 in the afternoon um i'm gonna take the boys to barnes and noble and then come back make dinner and then i'll probably edit some video put it on uh, put it on YouTube. So tomorrow I'll finish the office. Um, I'll get the curtains and then I'll move my printer and my tower on the desk and um, yeah and do the veils and that's about it and then I'll get to the rest of the house which is actually less work so I may be able to finish by Friday and then I have another five days worth of vacation that I can actually enjoy go to the pool and do whatnot but right now Barnes and Nobles. Okay, so we went to Barnes and Nobles and... I got a book. You what? I got a book. Which book did you get? <laughs> um, an origami Yoda book. Origami oh. Yoda book? Okay. You the kids are uh, doing their homework for an hour and I'm again. about... To... Yes, again. And I'm about to start doing some editing for a video, so... Good one hour worth of work and then um, I'll make dinner. And I'll call it a night.